Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. Today we're going to talk about optimizing database write performance. If you look at databases today on the market, what we tend to see is database servers being built with a lot of RAM. Uh, RAM is uh, pretty affordable uh, nowadays, and so getting uh, hundreds of gigabytes, in some cases even terabytes of RAM, is an option that many uh, database architects are selecting. Uh, so then you'll have multiple of these database uh, servers running for to service different applications. Uh, those database uh, servers will connect uh, through a network uh, to shared storage. The, the effect of adding this RAM uh, to these servers is that most of the I.O., most of the read I.O. is now happening locally. And so what's traveling down the network to the storage system tends to be only writes. And so to, you have to have very good write performance in order to keep up with these modern database designs. Now, the challenge is, is that in most uh, shared storage systems for databases, we tend to use Flash. And if Flash has an Achilles heel, it is its write I.O. operations. Now, clearly, Flash can write data faster than hard disk drives can, uh, but it's a more complex operation uh, in uh, than, than a read, certainly. And you have to do what's called a program erase cycle, and it just takes time, it adds latency, and this is an area of exposure. Uh, also remember that in many of these uh, systems today, they're trying to run other services like deduplication and things like that, and so that adds, since this is all write traffic, uh, they, uh, those engines have to run on every single I.O. And so that creates just this uh, confluence of events that really increases uh, latency uh, back to the application. And so uh, customers are really stuck now. What do I do to, now that I've kind of, if you will, solved the read problem, how do I address this write problem? Well, what we've done at store one is insert into that flash tier is a tier of Optane storage. Now, Optane is a class of memory that is in between Flash and RAM. It has, in fact, it has more in, in common with RAM than it does Flash. It has very, very high write performance at very, very low latencies. It, of course, also has very good read performance. Now, the, the challenge with Optane is it's also much more expensive per gigabyte than most, uh, than fla all Flash uh, systems are. And so you can't really, today anyways, build a storage system that's 100% um, Optane based. And so what has happened on the market is uh, vendors that have tried to implement Optane typically use Optane as a cache, which means they can only typically use it read only, which again means you don't get the right performance uh, advantages of it. So what we've done at store one is we treat Optane as a tier of storage. And so data when it comes in settles on this Optane tier. Then, so we keep that Optane tier small, we'll move that data to a QLC flash tier. Now, QLC flash, of course, is even less expensive than TLC flash, and is, uh, especially on a price per gigabyte basis, is a very cost-effective um, means of storing data. Now, the challenge with QLC flash is it doesn't have the endurance to handle a lot of writes. Well, that's why these two make a perfect complement to each other. We can let the data settle on this Optane tier, and then as it starts to fill up, we can then sequentially write data to this QLC flash tier and let it store there almost permanently. Uh, and so we get the best of both worlds. We get Optane acting almost as a shock absorber for the write traffic coming in, but a very small amount, so it's very affordable. And then we stage down to the QLC tier in a nice sequential write pattern. So that, that's the best way to write to QLC. It keeps the endurance high. It's a less uh, disruptive to the media. Now, the other good thing about this type of design is that when a read does need to come from this tier, because not everything is going to be in that cache, the read can come 
directly from this QLC tier back up to the storage system. And the performance out of this tier is as fast as the performance uh, out of the Optane tier for, for a number of reasons. First of all, QLC read performance is very, very good. Uh, our software happens to drive that uh, very, very quickly. And the, um, there's generally more QLC flash drives than there are Optane drives. And so that combination leads to uh, very good performance coming out of this, uh, this tier right here. So that really helps solve the, the read performance thing. And so what we've done at store one is our software runs on the storage controllers that connect to all this, and it, it manages the t movement of data through these different tiers. And also we've rewritten the storage engine to be very, very efficient. So we get incredibly good uh, read and write performance. And so we don't slow Optane down, we take full advantage of it. And then we can also take full advantage of the QLC tier and move data very, very quickly uh, to these database engines. Now, the impact to uh, users and, and to uh, architects of these types of solutions is number one, you can scale these environments much, much further. So you can support more users, more transactions per second. Uh, all of that uh, really starts to happen for you. That should lower overall cost because you don't have to pay as much in database licensing and things like that. You don't have to add more servers uh, and things like that. So you can actually drive the cost at this top level down so significantly that many times you can pay for the system. And then of course, secondly, because of the performance of the system, you're just meeting the demands of your user community and the uh, customer base. So if you're looking for ways to reduce uh, database or improve database write performance, reduce latency, take a look at our, uh, our solution. It's called the allflasharray.next. And it is uh, powered by Intel Optane, leverages QLC to really reduce uh, database latency and to really improve database write performance. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer at Store One.